In this video, we're going to explore the Riot API using uh, ChatGPT. I don't like going through API documents, and my favorite part about ChatGPT is that it's already parsed all those documents to it uh, for you. So you can ask it, you know, natural language questions, and just get the code that you want to work with, and then uh, go from there. I mean, thing what's what's great about the the number one use of ChatGPT, in my opinion, is how great it parses a manual into usable, you know, easy to find stuff. So let's let's get right into this. Uh, oh my gosh, my API key is on the screen right now, so I'm gonna get that off of the screen. Okay, now it's off the screen. Now I can show you my screen. So we're already into it. You know, I can. Uh, I've already gotten my old League of Legends NA uh, account. You know uh, the level, the name, all that stuff. This account got banned years ago because I hard raged at uh, a bunch of kids. <laughs> I mean, I I made this account when I was like 20, 23 years old. I'm thirty five now, so this is an old account. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I got it working. I'm curious about getting data from games. I would like to get the most recent games played by all players. Is that possible to get that game data? The most recent games play, played by players. The API provides several endpoints that allow you to retrieve information about recent games, including part to the participants, champion plays, game duration, etc. One input point that you can use to retrieve games played by a by a player. Okay, is that one? So we can define the API endpoint. We can print out the response. Okay. Oh, we need the PUUID. Something we need to get. What is PUUID, you ask? Well, for my for this player it's that. Let's rerun this. API request failed with status for code 400. I wonder why. I wonder why API key, is that right? That's right. P U U I D. Hmm. Let's go back. I'm going to make a method called Define get P U U I D and it's just that and it returns and it's gonna return Well no it's it's just going to print this this Print. 
summoner data. Maybe we don't need that. We can then we can just run it. Uh, and instead we're gonna call it uh, username. Right? Or honestly, I think we just call it summoner name. Get that out of there. It's a little easier, right? And then we'll just do get PUID summoner name. And that should print out that. Now, what we need now to go in here. And instead of that, we do print summer data of of what? P U U I D P U U I D, and then this should give us back that. Just only this, this, right? So we can say the P U U I D equals this. So now we have it stored there. And we could take the rest of this code, reuse this this API key. Set that to be that. API key is up there. And let us pray this works. That worked. And then we still got API request failed with status code 400. Why is that? Let's see where does where does that happen exactly? Maybe, just maybe, it doesn't have my recent game data. Maybe it's not a problem with the code. Maybe instead we need Wall Tyler ones reset, or, or we need op gg lol Tyler one. Does he still play? That's a question. Does he still? Oh gosh, he doesn't. When was the last time he played on LOL Tyler 1? Nine days ago. Oh, should, this should, that should work then. So, instead we'll do this. Let's see if that works. We're still failing. Is it possible to print? Can we print you? Can we print that at least? Cannot. Can we print URL? Why does it say none? Recent games endpoint slash. This URL is not right. 
and then it has none for some reason. But it's like maybe 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 I can just force it. Right, instead of using this. Does that work? Unauthorized, damn it. Anyway, the answer is yes. With some tweaking, you can, in fact, use ChatGPT to build some Riot API items. So thank you for watching. Uh, I guess part two, we'll just get into part two uh, right after this. Hit that, hit, click that button if you want to see me work on this some more.